I've had these two app claps for a while, and I've just recently clued in to their subtleties. Maybe it's just me, or maybe it's uh, these stupid manuals. Those manuals focus exclusively on how to use these amp clamps with multimeters. And the combination of the high-low range on the amp clamp with combination of ranges on the multimeter to achieve the most accurate results. I mean, hello, this is a BNC and everybody buys these things so that they can use them with an oscilloscope. And there is no mention of oscilloscope use in those manuals. What inquiring minds want to know is at what stage would we transition from the low setting to the high setting? And what is the strength or the weakness of the output that the oscilloscope sees in millivolts in typical use? So let's start with the CC65 and see if we can get any guidance in the manual as to when we should transition from low to high. And according to this in the manual, and if you set aside the confusing information relating to the settings of the multimeters, it suggests that you would have the low setting for two amps and below. And that above that, you would go to the high settings. Uh, that doesn't sit well. Thankfully, if we go to the Hantec site itself, there are specs out there that uh, guide us a little better. Why those specs were not included in the manual is beyond me. But if you look at that, it now suggests that you would use the low setting for anything below 20 amps and you would go to the high settings above that. That makes more sense. So let's switch over to the CC650 and see what kind of guidance the manual offers us as to when we should switch from the low range to the high range. Again, if we disregard all the confusion about what the multimeter setting should be, because we're not going to use this with a multimeter, it suggests that anything below 20 amps should be at the low setting and above 20 amps it should be on the high setting. At least that's what I read from that. And here's the kicker. If you go to the Hantec site to see more in the way of specs as we did with the CC65, there is no specs. There's no further information on the Hantec site in regard to this. So what I've done is I've taken the guideline from the CC65, multiplied by 10 to give us a guideline for the CC650. So whereas with the 65, you can go 20 amps and less in the low range, that means that with a 650, you can go 200 amps and less in the low range. And that jives with uh, experimentation. If you do relative compression tests with the amp clamp on the starter cable, and uh, you, you know, you're going to be going above 200 amps, you know, like 250, maybe a little higher, um, and you stay in the low range, you're going to get a, a messed up uh, waveform. A typical use of the 650 amp clamp is in uh, relative compression tests and you're going to be below 250 amps and in the high range that means that the BNC will see less than 250 milliamps. Good to know. Now these amp clamps are popular and they offer good value and they're not just used with hand tech model oscilloscopes they're used with all kinds of brands and the software uh, typically supports these uh, amp clamps so that you read directly in amps what those millivolts that are being output at the BNC. H-Scope is no exception. It offers four probe settings on the database that covers the high and low ranges for both of the clamps. Now these clamps are great. It's the manuals that suck. So help the channel out guys. Uh, hammer that like button. Subscribe if you haven't and we'll talk to you soon.